Hi there, back from the grave, it's me. <laughs> oh, I wasn't dead. It's me, the Swedish guitar nerd, and I'm here to review yet another guitar. Uh, first, I'd like to mention a few people. First of all, Andrea Brorsson, uh, the guy responsible for a pop project called Stars and Coma, who was kind enough to lend me this guitar that I'm reviewing today. And secondly, uh, maybe most important, uh, Snickers fan 15, uh, the one that has actually requested that I did a review on this one. So, what do you know? If you request a review, I might do it. Um, so, this is an example of that. Uh, so, today we have uh, the Squire Affinity Telecaster. Mm, that was one of my suggestions that you could uh, request from me in my last video uh, when I did another Telecaster. I'll get back to that in another video, comparing actually these two. Okay, this is a Squire Affinity Telecaster. Uh, um, it's, uh, I think this is... Uh, the cheapest Telecaster made by a Fender licensed company. Mm. And well, what do we have here? Uh, I'll go through everything I know about it. Um, well, let's start at, the, uh, start at the top as I usually do. And uh, what do we have here? To my total surprise, we have some ki some kind of proper tuners. Uh, they actually work. They actually seem solid, and uh, yeah, they seem lasting. I don't know. I'm not used to this. If you watched my other videos, I'm complaining about tuners all the time, and these seem just fine. Sealed ones, as you can see. Yeah, yeah, proper ones. Um. Yeah, we have a uh, maple neck, maple fretboard. Uh, it's kind of uh, kind of fat, but uh, also not so wide. It's it follows the measurements of an original Telecaster, um, so it feels good. Doesn't feel big, but it's there's there's some wood there. <laughs> Uh, we have uh, medium jumbo frets. Um, this one we have an older body. The common thing in other um, Fender style guitars or Fender made guitars. For instance, the standard, no, not the standard, the American ones are actually older. The standards, I think, are popular or something, yes. Um, yeah, Telecaster pickups, uh, uh, simplified uh, Telecaster bridge with a six bridge thing, uh, one per string, so you can intonate each string separately. It's not the original design, but there'd be a debate about this, but this is probably better. Uh, in theory, this is better. I have heard uh, some guys thinking that the usual ones on the Telecaster have uh, just uh, are separate ones. There are three uh, bridge parts, so you intonate two strings at a time, and that that's impossible. Uh, so, but what that kind of bridge does is that it uh, since it, there are two strings on the same part, same metal part. And they uh, add tension to that, and uh, in theory, it's possible. And a few people argue that it's possible that that uh, helps with the sustain. Actually, I'm not sure if in uh, in the real life it really works. Uh, I like this kind of design better. Um, yeah, three-way switch, master volume, master tone. Yeah, it's one of the simplest electrical guitars ever made, and uh, well, it stood the test of time. It's still being used all over the world, and yeah, 
it's a real good design and it it does it does the job i think um okay so materials hardware i give it an eight there's really not much to complain about here uh, as with the uh, Harley Benton Telecaster, we have a uh, non-string through body bridge. Um, and as I said in my other video, it could be bad, it could be good, actually. Uh, it's really not that easy. And it works here, I would say. Okay, how well is it made then? Uh, this is made in China, of course. It's the cheapest one. Uh, but you really can't tell. I have to point out. It's really well made. There are no sharp fret ends. The frets are perfect. Uh, the neck is just wonderful. Um, it's satin finished. And yeah, it feels great. Um, the paint job on the body has some minor flaws uh, and it won't affect anything at all. Um, the neck is tight to the body, it fits the neck pocket perfectly. Um, everything is tidy, everything is where it should be and yeah, it, it just works. Uh, and uh, Yes, durability. I usually talk about that. Uh, I don't see any parts here that can really break. Um, so this has to be the most durable guitar I've tested so far. Maybe this part. Uh, you can see here where the jack comes in, the tele jack. Uh, this is made of plastic and the plastic will age and This is probably something that will break because you pull it in and out. Um, that's a minor thing. Uh, it's just a piece of plastic. You can exchange it for a piece of metal quite easily. And I think it's, it's standard measurements. So it shouldn't be that hard to one day in, I don't know, 30, 40 years when it breaks to change it. Other than that, it's built like a tank I think you can I think you can do anything with this one and it will outlast it so build quality durability I give it a 9 playability uh, as I said it's, um, it's quite beefy I don't know beefy there's quite a lot of wood here but it's not it's a narrow neck so it's easy to get around it's kind of flat, it's a nine and a half inch radius, and so it's flatter than the regular uh, Telecaster. And I think that makes it easy to play actually. Um, to be honest, it feels like a shredder. You can play fast on this one. Uh, I'll try to do that later on. Um, and there's nothing really. Well, someone would complain that this bulky thing here would stop you from playing, but I don't know. If you put your thumb here, that depends on what technique you're using, what kind of technique you're using. If you put your thumb here, well, you see, it's really no problem reaching the higher frets, at least with my fingers. So playability, again, a 9 out of 10.